In this video, I will show you how to use Entity ESP in Cheat Utils. I go here and click Add Entity. Let's add chickens. We can set up colors and ESP type. And now we can see chickens around. Here you can enable custom title system and display HP of the mobs. If the font is too small, you can change its size here. For each entity class, you can see its bases, classes, and interfaces. You can set up entity ESP entry for base class and cover multiple entities at once. If I type monster in search, you can see entity classes that are derived from monster base class. For example, Blaze is child class for monster, Cave Spider is also monster with creeper and so on. Now I am adding ESP entry for monster to cover a large group of entities. As you can see, it works for creeper, for skeleton, and zombie. Now I am adding zombie. and I want them to be displayed in another color. But as you can see, zombies are still blue. That's because Entity ESP looks for first matching entry in the list. In our case, this is Monster. To change this behavior, you can reorder entries and make Zombie to take precedence over Monster. Now zombies have red outline. I set up ESP for slimes. Here I can create a custom script with additional logic and decide which entities should not be highlighted. In this script, I am disabling overlay if slime HP is not equal to 15. As you can see, only the biggest slime is highlighted. You can also override entity titles from this script. Now I will show how to create key binding to toggle specific entity ESP. It is very similar to how you toggle block ESP. Now I can toggle chickens in the entity ESP.